The fallout continues after one of South Africa's biggest corporate scandals. The Financial Sector Conduct Authority has fined former Steinhoff CEO Marcus Euster 475 million rand for publishing false and misleading financial statements. Well, the company suffered uh, hefty losses after claims of accounting irregularities had emerged and FSCA Commissioner, that's uh, Gamlana, Unati Gamlana, had explained that they found in the investigation this. This is um, a multi-year investigation that we have approached in phases. Uh, as one can appreciate, this has been a complex investigation looking into uh, transactions which took place over multiple years uh, in a very, um, you know, in a conglomerate which operated in multiple uh, jurisdictions. So all of that, including the fact that, of course, as, as, as a regulator, uh, one re reacts to these things and we're not as well resourced as uh, those uh, that we are investigating. Um, in the first part of our investigation, we investigated the company. We completed that. The second part of the investigation, we uh, focused on insider trading. We completed that. There were some legal challenges around it that we had to deal with. And this is the third part of the investigation, which focuses on the publication of false and misleading financial statements. So our investigation focused on contraventions of the Financial Markets Act, particularly Section 81 of the Financial Markets Act, which talks to uh, publication or making uh, false, misleading or deceptive uh, statements. And our investigation concluded uh, that Mr. Mr. Euster indeed did uh, publish false, misleading and deceptive statements uh, on statements that he should have, or statements that he should have known that were misleading uh, and false. We focused in the period 2014 to 2016 um, and in terms of our conclusions in looking into those particular transactions, uh, we uh, we've reached the conclusion that uh, uh, those statements were, were false and misleading. The law requires us to consider a few things in determining a fine. The first uh, relates to the, the nature uh, of the contravention itself the financial benefit uh, to Mr. Euster, uh, and of course we are also required to consider uh, his representations in terms of his version uh, of, uh, of events. I think quite importantly as well, and we say this in the statement that we issued, um, the need to deter similar kind of conduct from the corporate sector in general uh, going forward. So in looking at all of those factors, um, uh, we then decided that 475 million uh, is commensurate uh, with the kind of uh, uh, misdeeds and misconduct that we're dealing with and addressing here. But one of the things that we have to be thinking about is that um, the fine needs to be proportional. It needs also to be reasonable and fair. And our assessment is that this size of fine uh, meets uh, that uh, criteria. And I think quite important as well is that the administrative penalty itself should not be understood as the only thing and the only way to hold accountable Mr. Euster for the kind of misdeeds and misconduct that we're talking to. Uh, there are obviously other elements which go beyond what the FSCA is authorized to do. So as a, as a regulator in the financial markets, this is uh, a major, uh, I think, um, step in terms of holding Mr. Euster accountable for this misconduct.